Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Saj, this is Alan. We're running off grid. We live full time in our van Apollo. And this week we're on the beautiful Pembrokeshire coastline in Tembe. We're going to St. David's today, which is the smallest city in the whole of the UK. So that's pretty cool. It's about an hour away. And if you're ever in Tembe, check out um, Meadow Farm campsites. Really nice little spot overlooking Tembe. So it's glorious. Yesterday was a very wet day, but today I think it's going to be all right, you know. You checked us out. Checked us is that, out. Yeah. Is that what you do on campsites? She promised. She promised that I'd leave a review. Nice. And then she said, if you want any future dates, you've got to book them like really far in advance because they're booking up. So yeah, it's a great location though. You can totally see that. It's nice. Yeah. I think we'll be back. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Tembe's lovely, isn't it? Really like Tembe. Yeah. Yeah. Interested to see what St. David's is like. St. David? <laughs> My Welsh is really coming on. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. Right, shall we try and get this van off the wet grass? Yeah, let's. Oh, the soap. Oh, yeah. Wheel soap. <laughs> I'm keeping the soap here to dry. It's not weird, it makes perfect sense. Where should I put it now though? Because it's not dry. Is it not dry? No. Oh, that's. The system fails then, isn't it? Maybe I'll put it in the sink. What? This is a genuine question, YouTube. What on earth do you guys do with your soap? Is it just shower gel? Because we're always left with a damp soap. I don't know where to put it. I know that sounds daft, but... That's 179.9 diesel. I don't know if anyone else has noticed the increasing cost of fuel, but it's making us kind of rethink where we go and what we do, because it all adds up, doesn't it? £110. Wow. And it's like, there's a quarter of a tank still in there when I filled it up. Oh wow. On the plus side, I've got some homemade Welsh cakes. You can't afford those. Take no, them back. No, I can't. Jeez. So it's got to be like 130 quid to fill up Apollo now. We'd be better off paying the gas and lecky at home. <laughs> like in a house, you know? No, we haven't got a home anymore. <laughs> There's nowhere to go. <laughs> And I don't think we would. No, true. Well, I'll just drive very slowly then. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Pay more because we're a camper van. No, it was three pounds, which I thought was very reasonable. Oh, very nice. So, yeah, well done, Wales, for having a decent car park in the world's smallest city. Mm. Not the world, that's not right. <laughs> the UK's smallest city. The weather is just gone, yeah. you know? We've driven it's... from the nice weather. Yeah. I, wouldn't, I don't want to say apocalyptic, but it's not great. <laughs> behind me and this is the bishop's house the bishop the bishop's i got had a quite nice didn't he quite quite a grand residence yeah is four pound fifty each to get in though so we're just standing on stones looking over the top <laughs> <laughs> like cheapskates 
well here we are at the second campsite it's a bit uh, it's a bit gray and windy as you can see it's not cold cold though so that's good I'm uh, not entirely sure what we're going to do for the rest of the day we might head into fish guard I've heard that's quite nice right there's a tapestry there why not it's just oh it's windy I'm gonna get in the van so I can talk to you better Alan's gone for a run um, and I try and take advantage of when we're on a campsite to do a bit of yoga. I'm not running at the moment um, so I've got a prenatal yoga app which I'm using so I think I'm going to get the mat out and do half an hour of that. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile Gone for the old Crocs and socks look. It's a new, it's a new thing for me. Don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I certainly feel very European. What do you think, people? Crocs and socks. Do we like that? Is that good? Maybe it's a, maybe it's a height of fashion. You know. <laughs> well, he's still not back. He must be doing a long run. So there's a giant pile of washing up there. I should probably do that while I've got the time. And nothing else to do. I can't complain because we're doing a washing up on the campus that is so much easier than doing it in our tiny sink in the van. I do not miss doing it in there. Yeah, let's go wash up. I'm such a disgrace. I never really asked to be brought into this place. You wanna love me? Well then baby have a taste. All the highs and the lows, no you'll never be the same. I don't really wanna hurt you but I can't control the pain. If you're sticking by my side, maybe we can be okay. Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change. I need you today. I promise that I'm there. For fell this way, I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain. We've got free parking and spaces big enough for vans. Not often you see that. Perfect. Can't imagine it's overnighting though, but you never know. Right, oh, fish guard. Looks like that's the trail in. Just walking down to fish guard now. It's really windy. Wales has gone back to being very Wales again, so it's quite windy. A little bit damp, a little bit overcast. But the coastline is absolutely glorious. I've definitely heard of Fishguard, but I can't tell you why. Is Fishguard famous? It would be a great surprise to you viewers at home that I'm quite hungry. So I'm hoping Fishguard has a nice little cafe or something. I'm trying to eat my way through all the Welsh cakes that are currently produced in Wales as well. I've tried about six different brands now. Probably the best ones over those. Fresh ones. Yeah, in Tembe we had fresh, hot Welsh cakes that they put on the griddle and did them in front of you. They were incredible, really cinnamony. For those of you who haven't had a Welsh cake, it's a bit like, it's a bit like a scone, like a thin flat scone. Not quite the same, but it's kind of there. It's got currants in. It's like a doughy sort of battery thing. It's pretty good, yeah. I also quite like them with jam and cheese. You can just make out the uh, the ferry there, the Fishguard Ferry. I'm guessing this is like a a man-made sort of bigger port to house the ferry. But we're going to go around to Ye Olde Fishguard, fish which is round sort of that way. Yeah, that's what the locals call it. Guarantee it. Here we have it, ye oldie fish guard. Looks quite small, but there is an ice cream van I can see. So, that's good. One of the really nice things about Pembrokeshire is there's the coastal path that just runs, unsurprisingly, all the way around the coast. So you can always kind of pick it up 
this makes for some easy navigation and some lovely views. Some good running too, but it's very hilly, so just bear that in mind. There seem to be some pretty aggressive tides in Wales. All the little ports have these boats sat out on the silt. Bad news everyone, the only pub that I've seen so far is closed Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, I don't know whether Guess what day it is. It's Monday. I don't know whether we should be going like the other way. Yeah. This could be a TripAdvisor situation. It's really small though, but this, I mean I've been jokingly calling it Ye Olde Town, this is the lower town and up there is the higher town. So I think the higher town. Or the upper town. Or the upper town. A bit up there might have um, more going on because it's very quiet down here. That's why like it's not really known as the main town. <sighs> the main place to eat. Oh, I'm oh, just so hungry. Time for a cafe. Okay. Pan fried mackerel. Ooh, you'd like pan fried mackerel, wouldn't you? <sighs> I don't do fish. A few moments later. So we've done a bit of research. Yep. And we're in the wrong bit for lunch. Yep. They're all up the hill. Clustered up the hill. Lunch up the hill. Yeah, I've got the hangries. Okay, let's do it. I'm leaving you behind. <laughs> well, we've come up to the upper town. Everything's closed. The Literally pubs are closed, everything. the cafes are closed. Fishguard's a weird place. Let's keep wandering, but I'm not optimistic. found somewhere. <laughs> it was very nice. Yeah, that was cracking. Saved by Manning. Yeah, glad we did go to a pub. That was lovely. Very good. Good very chips. Nice. Super good chips. Triple cooked chips. Yeah. yeah. Should we wander back to the van? Yeah. Alright then. We're back. Fish guard. Um, not, not much there. Not much there. But a cracking cafe. But a lovely little cafe. Nice little walk along the along the coastal path. Yeah, tasty. Yeah. All right, I'll check the back and then we'll head off, shall we? Cracking. Back to the campsite, cup of tea, and one of those chocolate waffles, what I've got. Nice. Right then, Wales, it's been an absolute pleasure, but it's time to hit the road. You ready? Yes. For <laughs> the whole time, just like, lifting these trousers up. So you got some wet trousers, though. They're just not the best or very wet grass and just doing this. If Wales has got a lot of one thing, it's very wet grass. Yes, and the wind. Don't forget the wind. Yeah. It's been very pretty though. I do like Wales. I've got a real soft spot for Wales. Just wish it was summer in Wales, you know. We do have a summer apparently. Time on the campsite, it's been good. But we have kind of missed being off grid and doing some wild parking, camping, park ups, you know what I mean? Um, so we're going to do a little bit of that. The devises. Don't have been there before. It's got some locks apparently on the canals, so that would be nice. So we need to get some water because we know well, getting water in the UK is quite tricky. It's not this is like loads of air, it's like loads in France and Spain. So Alan's just filling up now. Maybe that's the way to do it. Maybe it's Burn Life UK is about some campsites, some off grid. Maybe in the past we've just tried to do like weeks and weeks on end of just not not getting in campsites. Maybe one one day a week is the way to go. Yeah. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I think the campsites you lose a lot of freedom, don't you? That's trouble. So now the weather's not been great here, we'd have probably just moved on off wouldn't we? Yeah. But because you're in the campsite you're kind of stuck here. Yeah. I think four nights is a bit much. Yeah. But it's lovely to have the facilities but then you really lack the freedom so. It's a conundrum. Know. It does depend where you are too. The targets aren't great around here. It's all national parks and stuff. So. Yeah. You know the school people. Devises then. Yeah. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head under my Something out of my nightmares, sitting right there. But if I lay down and I play dead, 
So we're actually parked in the long stay car park in the town. Um, you can't park near the lock anymore, you can't stay overnight unfortunately. But Park for Night reckons you can stay here. And it's free after six and it's it's really cheap for the hour or two, so I think we're gonna go with that. It looks alright. Just a car park really. Well that felt like a very long drive, friends. It's getting a bit bit dark, so I think we're gonna do a bit of work and sleep. <laughs> See you in the morning. See you in tonight. the morning and we'll show you the locks. What? Hello. I was just thinking about how I do actually quite like being off the grid, off the campsites. What about the boy races last night? <laughs> yeah, they were quite, quite loud, but they were fine, weren't they? They weren't too bad. Yeah. Yeah, all this moaning about, oh, I don't want to be in a, in a lay by. On a no, you kind of like Actually, it. Actually, yeah, I kind of like it. And like, it's not nice that awkward, like... though, is it? It's a car park. Yeah, but, but yeah, I don't know. I'm quite liking it. It's, it's all... free. It's sunny. There's stuff to look at. So it's going to be about a 20-minute walk along the canal to the world-famous locks. I like looking at all the boats. I can't, I couldn't live on a boat there. I couldn't do boat life. No way. Canal boat? Yeah. No. Why? I don't know. I just think they're quite claustrophobic. Yeah. They're quite thin, aren't they? Well, it's a bit busy on the canal today. doing the locks up there and she said it takes two hours to either get all the way up or two hours to get all the way down. That's quite a long time but I thought it might be all day. So for those of you that don't know what a canal lock is, I'm going to explain what a canal lock is. So canal locks are a way of boats, canal boats, going uphill or downhill because obviously water is always flat. So if you take this bit here, the boat will come into here and then you lock it into this gate. So it's sealed at both ends. Then the water will be allowed to flow out so the level drops back down and then the boat is in line with the next level of water. And you just keep doing that. So it's like steps for canals. Yeah? Yeah. So that kind of made sense. Yeah, nice. I'm an expert in canal boats. <laughs> I've, uh, I've never been on one. <laughs> Literally ever. No. I thought it might be nice to live on a canal boat once. I don't know, they're very thin and they're quite dark, so mm. you can't really go anywhere. Mm. Not like van life where you can go anywhere with a rope. Yeah, I think you're quite restricted, aren't you? And then also it's quite expensive to moor up. You can only moor in certain places and you've got to keep moving. If anyone does canal boat life, I'd be really interested to know. Let us, let us know in the comments what it's actually like. Well, we've walked all the way to the end. Now we're wandering back up and then we'll do a right go into Devizes and go back to the van. And yeah, we've had a nice time actually, the last 24 hours off the campsite and we've enjoyed Wales and Pembrokeshire, we'll definitely be back. If you enjoy our videos, feel free to give us a give us a give us a thumbs up, give us a like and a subscribe. Um, and you can also support the channel by buying us a coffee or three. Not that I'm having coffee at the moment, but I'll turn it into tea. Links in the description below. Thanks everyone and we'll see you next week.